So here we are again, it's Graham Martin, the recruitment guy, with John, who is, as you can see, a real life lifeguard. So every year, thousands of people in the UK go on holiday and they have a fantastic time on a beach like this. This is down in Cornwall, it's a place called Morgan Porth, and it's fantastic weather, as you can see. Lots of people having lots of fun, but probably what they don't realise is that for every couple of beaches, there's a hut like this, or an observation point. There are people like John, who works for the Lifeguard Association, the RNLI, who are actually keeping an eye out, keep these people safe. Now the RNLI is a completely funded by charity organisation. So they purely get their money from donations, from charity. So first thing though is we're going to talk to John and find out exactly what it's like to become a lifeguard. John, good to see you, thanks for your time. Nice I know you're here, I know you've got your binoculars with you just in case we're watching what's going on. So um, tell me, I'm kind of curious, where'd you come from? Well, I was actually born in Stoke-on-Trent, not Cornwall. Now, Stoke-on-Trent, is, is there a beach in Stoke-on-Trent? There isn't. There's no beach rivers. in Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> so how did a boy from Stoke-on-Trent, home of Robbie Williams, yeah. get to be down in Cornwall wearing a yellow, sh a yellow shirt? Well, basically, I've, my folks used to bring me on holiday here all the time when I was all wee nipper. Yep, yeah. And uh, used to always get in the water, loved it. And so as soon as I hit that golden age, got my car, Moved down to Cornwall. Oh, you moved down? Yeah, I moved down okay. quite, a long, quite a long time ago. So, so how long have you been a lifeguard for? I've been lifeguarding 10 years now. 10 years, that's quite a yeah. long time. And, and what is it that made you want to become a lifeguard? Basically, I love outdoor work, love surfing, Yep. love swimming, love keeping fit. So it attracted me, a few of my lifeguards, friends yep. already. So. so how do people become a lifeguard today? What, what's the application process? Is it easy, is it difficult? What do you have to go through? Basically, you have to be, have good water skills to begin with, really. But best thing to do is from a young age, really, is to join a surf club. Yeah. There's a lot around Cornwall, lot, lots of different surf clubs. Obviously, if you live inland, that's going to become difficult. But if you can, like, come down weekends, maybe just spend a few hours at the surf clubs. Right. They'll head you in the right direction. But you can find online pretty easy. And, and how hard clubs. is it actually to become a lifeguard? What's the application process? Is it, is it a couple of forms or you've got to sit some tests? Basically, it's a lot to do with fitness and water work. So, as soon you can do a NARS course, or there's a few different courses out there to do, yeah. which normally a week intense course for a beach lifeguard qualification, which you need, which is called a NARS course. And through that week's course, they'll train you in everything you need to know all your water work all your fitness standards, all your first aids, teach you everything about the beach, all the different currents you'll find out in the ocean, rip currents, flash currents. So you do learn a lot, it's an intense week. So very, week. very intense, yeah. yeah. Now, I've been coming down to this beach for, for 15 years and I've met you guys over a couple of years and you all look really slim and fit. So I've got to ask you, this. is this a, a business, is it a type of role where fitness is very very important yeah you've got to be uh, very active in the job we get fitness tested every four weeks uh, we have to do a beach sprint and we have to do a 16 lengths in the pool in under seven minutes so what's seven. what's a beach sprint I'm curious could I it's, do it uh, well try it <laughs> <laughs> maybe after the film 200 yeah. meter beach sprints obviously a lot, <laughs> lot harder on the soft sand yeah yeah so and how quickly have you got to do that in we do it you got to do it under 50 seconds pretty achievable so you got to be pretty some fit. of us can do it you know, under 30 seconds. What are the prospects like? You know, if you, if you start off as a, as a trainee and become a lifeguard, are there opportunities to progress? Yeah, <coughs> when you first start, you start as a grade one, and then it's grade two, but obviously more experience, you're the, more, the higher grades, mm. and the more level of pay. And, and, and as a more work. senior person, what Yeah, and then you get to, to be a senior guard, which means you run a beach. Oh, really? Obviously, there's got quite a few beaches, so yeah. there's a few senior lifeguards. And what does the money start off at? Um, well, it's an hourly pay yep. scale, so it varies depending on what grade. I mean, a grade one, I'm probably on about seven. I'm not too sure to be exact. A grade one is probably roughly seven fifty, and then it obviously goes up <laughs> yep. quite a lot. So the more so you do, senior, the more advanced yeah, you become. The, the more advanced you become, the more hours you'll do as well. So a senior guard will get forty-five hours a week. So what's what's the best bit about the job? What do you enjoy most? Love surfing, love working outdoors, get paid to keep fit, which I love. So, uh, what's the downside? Good. There's always a downside of any job. Living in England, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> so, working on the beach, we rarely get days like this. Really nice right. day today. So, good advert so. for British tourism down here today, the sun shining. <laughs> but there are days when I've been down yeah. here and it's chucking it down with rain, yeah. and you're sitting in there, you're watching nothing, I guess. 
No, there's always something to watch. There's always brave people out there. And yeah. Obviously, the surf gets really big down here at Morgan Port, so we've always got to keep an eye on the water no matter what. So we've always got a truck. We've got an ILB, which is an inshore rescue boat, yeah. which we have down here. So, so do you need to be able to drive to do this job? Yeah, the more... you No, no you don't have to have a driving license, but it obviously it does help. If you haven't got a driving license, there are beaches that you yeah. can work which right. don't have vehicles on it. Okay. So there's a lot of beaches in the town centre that don't have vehicles so on. So is this a full-time job, is it, throughout the whole year? It's a uh, seasonal. Oh, what does that so mean? So it's then? from March, roughly, the end of March, yep. and we run through till the last day in September normally. And what do you do during the winter? you put your feet up in front of the fire? I, I don't think so, looking at you, you look pretty fit. What do you do the rest of the Well, time? some of the guys do an exchange, so some of you, as soon as you finish this season, you get an employment in Australia. Oh, really? Life yeah. gone, I've done that myself before, right. so I've lifeguarded in Australia. So Because you, you've got a slight Australian yeah. accent, haven't you? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so there is that, but I'm a plasterer, so it does help to have another trade, yeah. so I'm plaster, I'm also a retained fire, fighter as well. So a busy guy. Yeah, so I've got Okay, that. well, look, you've given us a lot of information, I hope that we've uh, we've taken it all on board and we've learned a lot, but I'm going to ask you one question. If there's one thing that you would suggest for our viewers, if they wanted to become a lifeguard, they should do, what would that one thing be? A lot of swim training, and I'll try and as much as you can, get in the sea, get on the coasts. Obviously there's a lot out there to be read, you find a lot of information on the internet nowadays, so just punch on them keys, lifeguard in UK, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of information on there. Great, well listen, that's been fantastic. John, thank you so much. Cheers. So we're here today finding out about how to become a lifeguard. If you're interested, look on the RNLI website. Remember, this is a charity. If you've ever been to the beach and you've thought about the people that keep an eye on you, please make a donation. It's a very, very valuable service they provide. And of course, for us, members of the public, it's free. So, John, again, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Graham Martin, Cheers. the recruitment guy, saying goodbye.